Um, Blinker is all about, um, actually, I'll start off with a couple questions. How many people here are hardware developers, or hardware engineers? Uh, web developers, Android developers? Okay, great, even more. Uh, you can keep your hands up too, that would be actually get a great uh, uh, Embedded system engineers? All right, anyone interested in IoT development in general? Okay, awesome, there it is. Uh, what are some of the problems though in IoT development? If you normally it costs a significant amount of money to start up and get running, you need specialized expertise of the team, um, and there's a lot of other infrastructure barriers that you can get up and running. Blinger's here to fix that. Blinger works right out of the box. It's hardware, data visualization, development, envi development environment, all packaged inside an easy to use platform. So here it is. Right here, you can see it. This is actually the development board. In reality, the internet module R is actually this, right here. You can even see that from this far away. Works right out of the box, unique IP. On the left is a typical IoT development. You'll have an internet module, the large green thing with the scattered GPS, Wi-Fi, cellular connection. Uh, you also need to attach a Bluetooth module, and then you'll need a powerful processor to make it work. Uh, Blinker takes all this and reduces it down to an easy to use um, consolidated module. Uh, also, notice $399 will only get you the internet module. That's that large green thing on the right side of the left side. Uh, Blinker's price point in introduction is we're trying to get it to around $100 for a uh, startup and then retail at somewhere under $200. Uh, we resolve about connectivity, uh, whether that's people to people through push notifications, real time messaging, uh, machine to machine inter interfaces, so automation, um, and M to P, so M to P, uh, machine to people um, in terms of really understanding, utilizing data to make better decisions. Uh, it's, all, it's already pre connected with all the interfaces you need to connect to the uh, physical world, whether that's uh, ITC squared, um, UR, USB, GPS. It's all in there, all embedded into the system, and there's a bunch of plug and play style templates to connect microphones, uh, sensors, uh, cameras, anything you need to make it awesome. Uh, this is a quick look into uh, what is actually inside the module R. Uh, it's extremely powerful, eight gigs of flash memory, eight gigs of RAM, uh, quad core 853, which is the most powerful processor for edge processing. Um, and now I'm gonna take you into a quick little uh, introduction of our backend system. Uh, so the first time you log in, you'll only need a unique ID. You'll be prompted uh, to enter, uh, create an administrative account and password. Um, however, this is the first time. So this is your dashboard. Quickly you get any overview of what data you have, how many documents you have, what type of users are on there. Uh, we're going to go in and get a little bit more in depth into our data. Uh, so we'll go in and we'll pick a specific category and then we'll look up real quick. So these are all modules creating, collecting data right now right now actually. Um, however, the problem with data is it's kind of confusing. Uh, so we've pre-integrated a, a data visualization tool so that we can quickly understand exactly what it is. Set some time frames, set a parameter, we're good to go. So we're gonna update all this data. Click and drag if you wanna zoom in. And I think we're gonna go in one more time to really find some crazy awesome data. And then depending on our liking, we can easily share this, copy it, and embed that into something else. If you're really interested into developing and coding, like some of you, we have a growing API list. Uh, this will get you up and prepared for everything. Uh, we also have uh, pre-embedded templates, so depending on what exact hardware you're utilizing, you're ready to go with or without it. Um, we'll open it up, I guess, for a few questions. Uh, don't forget, uh, we're launching actually in May, so if you have any uh, Check us out, we have special offers, updates, uh, blink-r.io, and we'll get a couple questions in here. Uh, and this is my partner in case they're too technical. Questions? In the back. What's your vetting process on the API? The question is vetting process for the API list. Um, vetting process for our API list. Oh, for, the, for developers? For developers? 
Yes. This one. Oh, you want to? Yeah. But you can use that too. Yeah. Okay. So right now we are building our uh, our uh, the APIs yeah. for front of them. So the one in the demo is really just for uh, the backend. Like uh, you call your kind of your data, you call your, your data in the backend. We also build an environment which kind of can easily uh, get the available interface. And then also we have a great platform uh, based real time data. Uh, this is like uh, <coughs> push notification, instant messaging, all that kind of thing. Hope this answers your question. Okay. Any more questions? What's the structure of your team look like at this point in time? Um, so, right now, uh, we are pushing, uh, me and my partner are pushing out the Flinder brand, uh, but in China, we have a facility that is doing design, development, and manufacturing of IoT devices. Uh, so, this is more of a spin off that's trying to focus on really connecting the future. So, there's not a lot of, or there's no integrated system like this yet. And uh, this system actually already uh, used uh, by quite a few people here, and uh, also by our own team to develop the uh, IoT application. For example, we have one to monitor the uh, senior power, like a power system, like which is the, with all the real-time power information, like power outage, uh, to switch from generator to the greater power, battery power, so what is power management? That's one of the key to your application. Go ahead. Who are your customers? Uh, we have a bunch of customers. No, but like, you know, like who are you selling to? Are you selling to the company people who make the devices? Yes. We, like for that particular brand. Uh, yeah. For this particular brand, uh, R, we target like uh, people who want to get in IoT gaming, who want to uh, run their demos, very first prototype. So basically, it's really that. I think the fact is really for the prototype because if I, like Jason said at the very beginning, like what he asked me for any like IoT development, you need a few team, a lot of money, mankind. In our case, we one person put the door for the few our platform, like come up with a quick prototype. So that is basically for our target. Any more? Any more questions? Activity, what we have, we don't have uh, uh, Laura. So, uh, what we have is uh, 4G, 2G, 3G, uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, USB, uh, R2C, SPI, what that kind of connected. Okay, uh, there's no questions, thank you very much. And, uh,